Welcome friends I am back after 2 weeks for the past 15 days I was involved in proof reading of my forthcoming book a handbook of agricultural sciences and it will be published in two volumes very shortly this book is highly useful for agricultural graduates and diploma holders who will prepare for competitive exams especially TNPSC as it is compiled based on its syllabus Well friends if you have not subscribed my channel kindly subscribe to watch forthcoming videos this presentation will be on soil microorganisms from soil sciences under unit 3 natural resource management well friends let us discuss about soil microbiology soil what is soil microbiology it is a study of soil microorganisms their functions and how they affect soil properties soil microorganisms are classified into soil flora and soil fauna soil flora is subdivided into microflora and macroflora microflora again classified into bacteria actinomycetes fungi and algae bacteria is single celled and it is rod shaped and spherical and it is about 1 micrometer wide and up to 3 micrometer long and about 2 micrometer in diameter it is most abundant in microorganisms in the soil bacteria is classified into different groups first one is based on oxygen requirement the aerobic bacteria which needs oxygen for cellular respiration for metabolism and they are Bacillus subtilis, Azotobacter, Arthrobacter, and Mycobacterium. And the second one is anaerobic bacteria, which does not require oxygen for metabolism. The best examples are Actinomycetes, Clostridium, Propionobacterium, Bacterioids, Fusobacterium, and Bifidobacterium. The third one is facultative bacteria, and this use oxygen but for energy production it is anaerobic the example of facultative aerob is chlorobium lemicola and the examples for facultative anaerobes are escherichia coli e coli uh, bacillus pseudomonas klebsiella staphylococcus streptococcus salmonella and listeria The next group of bacteria is based on temperature. The first one is psychrophils. It grows best at moderate temperature that is close to freezing. The best examples are Arthrobacter, Psychrobacter, Crassobacterium. The next one is mesophiles. It is the uh, it grows better in moderate temperature. and best examples are listeria diobacillus novulus e coli clostridium the third one is thermophiles and it grows best at high temperature the examples are chlorofluxus thermus thermophilus phyrolobus fumari the next major group is based on food preparation the first sub group is autotrophs which gets nutrition from inorganic substances namely carbon dioxide the best examples are cyanobacteria green and purple sulfur bacteria and nitrosomonas the second subgroup is heterotroph which derives food from organic substances and they are clostridium mycobacterium and rhizobium well friends the next subgroup is chemoautotroph and which obtains energy from oxidation of reduced compounds the best examples are nitrosomonas and diobacillus whereas obligate chemoautotroph it prefers specific substrates for nutrition and the nitrobacter it uses nitrite as substrate whereas ammonia is the substrate for nitrosomonas 
Diobasilus converts sulfur compounds to sulfate, whereas ferrobasilus converts ferrous to ferric. The last group is based on symbiotic nitrogen fixers. There are two types, namely symbiotic nitrogen fixers and non-symbiotic nitrogen fixers. Let us discuss symbiotic N fixers in detail. It is associated with the host plant. Both host and bacteria get benefits. It fixes atmospheric nitrogen. The rhizobium is associating with legumes. Whereas brady rhizobium is associating with soya bean, azo rhizobium is associating with sesbania rostrata, and anabayana azola is leaves on azola, and frangia the is having association with casherina. Whereas non symbiotic N fixers are present without the association of a plant, but it fixes atmospheric nitrogen. Azotobacter is the best example. Bejerinkia, it is named after the scientist Bejerink. Clostridium, Chlorobium, Rhodosodomonas, Desulfovibro, Thiobacillus and Nostoc. Symbiotic and non-symbiotic including cellulose decomposers come under heterotrophs while nitrifiers, denitrifiers, nitrate formers and sulfur oxidizers are autotrophs. Now we discuss on role of bacteria in agriculture. Bacteria carry out the decomposition of organic matter and synthesis of humus. It is having enzymatic transformations by bacteria. Bacteria oxidizes or reduces many chemical reactions such as N fixation, sulfur oxidation, nitrification etc. Good friends, so far we have seen about bacteria. Now let us have an idea about actinomycetes. They are unicellular like bacteria, have same size as bacteria. It is filamentous and brief, profusely branched. The mycelial threads are smaller than those of fungi. No nuclear membrane as in bacteria, also called as filamentous. It is very sensitive to acid soil. Potato scab, a disease due to actinomycetes can be controlled by lowering the soil pH by applying sulfur. It is heterotropic and the optimum temperature is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius with 6.5 to 8 pH. Actinomycetes are important for organic matter decomposition. Chitin and phospholipids are reduced to simple compounds. Aroma of Freshly flowered lands is probably due to actinomycetes as well as other molds. Their population and biomass are almost equal to that of bacteria. Their proportion increases with soil depth. The best examples are Frankia family that, that is nothing but actinobacteria. The Streptomyces flavovirans is also the best example. The next important group is fungi. They are mostly parasitic and saprophytic. It possesses filamentous mycelium composed of individual hyphae which are 5 to 20 micrometer in diameter and several centimeters in length. Most fungi are heterotrophic and they depend on the organic matter content of the soil. It is dominant in acid soil and some can tolerate a pH of up to 9. It is strictly aerobic and the fungi needs Oxygen for metabolism. It is uh, classified into phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes, and fungi imperfecti. The fungi is also classified as molds, yeast, and mushrooms. Well, friends, let us speak on molds. They are filamentous, microscopic, and develop very vigorously in all types of soil. In acid forest soils, it involves in decomposing of organic matter. The common genera are mucor, fusarium and aspergillus. The average population is 10 to 200 billion per meter square. In humus formation and aggregate stabilization, molds are more important than bacteria. Continue to decompose complex organic substances after bacteria and actinomyces have stopped their function. Next subgroup of fungi is yeast. 
it is a group of fungi which exist as an intercellular organism it reproduces by fission or budding it is used as food supplement and also for the production of alcoholic beverages yeast is not common in soil but it can produce several plant diseases mushroom is also fungi and present in forests and grasslands where ample moisture and organic residues are present some mushrooms are edible and uh, details of edible mushroom will be discussed in unit 4 that is crop management and allied activities mushrooms are also not common in cultivated soils their fruiting body is above the ground next fungi group is algae filamentous 10 micrometer in diameter the population in soil is around 1 to 10 billion per meter square their mass in soil may be about 50 to 600 kg per hectare algae are photoautotrophs it is divided into four general groups that is blue green green yellow green and diatoms blue green algae are numerous in rice soils blue green algae growing within the leaves of aquatic fern azolla can also fix atmospheric nitrogen good friends finally let me through few highlights on role of soil microorganism soil n utilization by plants it decomposes dead organic matters it is also involved in nutrient transformation the physical and chemical properties of soil can be controlled by soil microorganism it also decides on the carbon dioxide content of the soil and it is also involved in soil formation let me give few important statements as one liner and more important for examination point of view the one liners are Mesophiles grow best at moderate temperature. Rhizobium is symbiotic nitrogen fixer. Actinomycetes are sensitive to acid soils. Fungi dominant in acid soils. Aspergillus is an example of molds. Yeast is used as food supplement and for the production of alcoholic beverages. The last part of this presentation is question and answer. microorganisms responsible for the solubilization of fixed phosphate is phosphobacteria which free living organism fixes atmospheric nitrogen the correct answer is a bga blue green algae ammonia is transformed into nitrate by the option b is the correct answer that is bacteria good friends kindly subscribe my channel like share and comment on my presentation for study materials and test series contact me at 9894904745 or mail at vanagamudi.tnu@gmail.com thanks a lot for your kind support extended to my channel